Are you guys ready for your next performer? Sometimes I'm on TV for like two lines, uh, and I'm English. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay, I'm from England. It's like there's good points and bad points because I always have work. I always have two lines to say, and I'm usually explaining something to a stupid American. <laughs> you think this is what truth sounds like? For some reason. <laughs> So that's good, I have that. Uh, the bad thing is, uh, the names of my characters offend me so deeply. Last week, I played Dr. Heathrow Wimbledon. <laughs> Was Lord Stonehenge bad teeth taken? <laughs> I think he's on Game of Thrones, actually. So he is taken. Um, <laughs> I'm a, it's, I deserve it. I deserve it because I'm, I'm a terrible immigrant. I'm just the worst kind. I have it so easy. So easy, us English people. It's ridiculous. Like your cab driver, he came here in a barrel. I, I just got on a plane. That's all I did. Like, he can, he can talk to his grandchildren about the struggle. I mean, I can't tell my grandkids how bad it was in coach. How many, gra how many movies were there, Grandpapa? Less than 50. He makes sense, you cab driver, because he's fleeing something. He's fleeing war, he's fleeing poverty. I was fleeing the lack of a good taco truck in London. He makes sense. Uh, I'm only here because I'm married to an American. Uh, I'm married, been married. I've been with the same woman for 10 years. And you have to clap. Because I earned it. Uh, married to an incredible woman, amazing. Uh, every day I love her like a little less. A little less. She wants me to get into lingerie now. This is a big thing. Get into lingerie. Uh, I won't, because it's stupid. And I'll tell you why. Um, don't get me wrong, the two greatest gifts I've ever received. Uh, number two gift, seeing my beautiful wife naked for the first time. Uh, number one gift, Christmas 89, I got a Nintendo. It's amazing, it came with two games, changed everything. Um, but when Christmas 1990 rolled round, we didn't rewrap the Nintendo in something black and frilly. Uh, with like a slut cut out for the cartridge. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. So don't rewrap your Nintendo wife. Don't do that. Let's, let's, let's talk about new games we can play on it. Like games that require maybe three or four players. Can we do that? That'd be good. Or maybe find a secret level, up, down, start, something. Just like there's a sequence of buttons that I haven't mastered. Um, yeah, I think there's only one button, but uh, apparently. No dudes, though, no dudes are going to be better at my wife's Nintendo than me. Can we, can we make sure that that doesn't happen? Um, it's amazing. I, you know, I've been, I'm proud, proud of this. Um, we've been together ten years, I'm not that bored of her vagina. Uh, I'm proud of it, I'm sorry, I'm not that bored. I'm a, I'm a little bored, but I'm not that bored. <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? Couples nervously laughing at each other's faces. <laughs> it's wonderful that it's there. Like, I'm a little bored. I mean, it's like, um, I think about my wife's vagina like a blind man's only book. <laughs> like, I'm, really, I'm really glad it's there, but I just want to run my fingers over anything else at this point. <laughs> That's a braille joke, though. Like Fifteen more. Fifteen more braille jokes. <laughs> I have a lot of single friends. They're like, uh, you know, grass isn't always greener, buddy, and I'm sure it's not greener. You know, it's probably shaved and tighter, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope you interpret 
these set of jokes is what they are, which is the most like honest, passionate request for anal her. <laughs> I said, are you, are you, are you, are you bored of, of, of my dick? And she said, uh, she said no. She said no. Which makes her one of two things. A, a liar. <laughs> or B, I mean, it means that my dick is amazing. <laughs> like, it's like a work of art that she can't kind of, like, fully interpret or understand. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling it the Bona Lisa. <laughs> Why is she walking around with that smile? We'll never know. <laughs> crowd in <laughs> Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm, you know, that was the, the, you know, that maybe, I want to tell you the truth about something. Uh, <laughs> my dick is hideous. <laughs> it is. It's, it's completely disgusting, huh? And I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, this is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Uh, I was circumcised age seven. Oh, Let's let that <laughs> for a second. Yeah. When I tell people that, they ask me one or two things. They say, "Did you convert to Judaism? Age uh, seven? Who wants to be in show business that bad?" <laughs> Dad, I want you to mutilate this and give me tap lessons. <laughs> no one says that. Uh, they also say, uh, "Did it hurt?" To which I reply, I, yes. "Yes." Stupid. <laughs> It really, really hurt. Um, I had a condition, a medical condition called paraphimosis, which means that the tip of my penis was too big for the foreskin I was given. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, on a bad day I do think about that. <laughs> <laughs> My penis was kind of undeniable. <laughs> Broke free in a rage. <laughs> I have an incredible Hulk dick. <laughs> Just put a pair of purple cutoffs on my balls. <laughs> it's ready to ruin your downtown. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, um, that was great, and then um, my parents took me to a surgeon who I'm pretty sure was actually a plumber because he just did the worst job you've ever seen on this thing. It's covered in scar tissue and bumps and there were stitches left in. It was a nightmare. I was a young kid, I had to, you know, when, you know, a teenager, I had to tell people, like, what's wrong with you? Like, you do you have a disease? I mean, no, this is just what happens when you get circumcised at 4.30 on a Friday. <laughs> you wanted to get out. <laughs> so I'm left with this mess. I, it's like a hor it's like, it's powerful, but it's ugly. You know, like, picture a wrestler's finger, and you're not too far off. <laughs> Covered in bumps and ridges, it kind of looks like a house painter's radio. At this point. Uh, and what makes me happiest? What makes me happiest about this is finally I've written a dick joke that no one will steal. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming out. description of a gruesome dick. I've never heard one. That was beautiful.